What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Smorfix here, and I'm bringing you a 132 and I believe 22 gameplay with my Man of War. Now before I get into this, I would like you guys, if you guys got the time, go check out your boy Mitch's channel. He did the exact same thing, uploaded the exact same kind of gameplay. He got a 100 plus with the Man of War as well. He gives more of an in-depth review over the Man of War. Go like his video, drop a sub, tell him Dysmorphic sent you, just spread the love. Now let's get into this, I'm talking about the inconsistency of guns in Black Ops 3. Now people can argue with me saying, oh the guns are consistent, it really depends on how much you play. Now the M8 for example is a really inconsistent gun, there would be times where I will one burst someone from across the map and then when they come at me point blank I'll have to two or three burst them exact same thing with a pharaoh i could be point and blank and i could one burst someone and then the exact same scenario happens and i will two burst them or have to three burst them uh and that's just really inconsistent uh the rk5 pistol is way more consistent and it's a secondary uh i believe Treyarch needs to stop nerfing and changing everything about multiplayer just because a couple people complain that they're getting outgunned which I believe it's Call of Duty, it is all about your gun skill. There is nothing else that affects this game besides gun skill. I mean, if you're lagging, you can't really help anything about that. But this is an FPS, it's not Madden, it's nothing has to do with your players, it has nothing to do with uh, anything inside the game besides your gun skill. Uh, I've gotten a nuked out with the RK5, and that's a pistol, and I've gotten nuclears with multiple other guns. It's just the more you play the game, the better your gun skill gets, and that's just obvious. So I believe Treyarch needs to stop just tweaking and nerfing and buffing every little gun because people are complaining about it. It makes it really inconsistent and it just makes the game not as good as it was. I believe when this game first came out, it was at its prime. Uh, to me, nothing was really wrong. Yeah, the M8 or the Shiva was really overpowered, but the Shiva is still a two-shot kill. And I can understand that it is a really powerful assault rifle. But uh, for example, with the sniper, the Shiva is, I would say, more consistent than an actual sniper. Uh, I get more hit markers with the sniper than I do with anything. Uh, it's just crazy the amount of hit markers I get. And I know I'm not the greatest sniper, but I know I'm not awful either. And like I said before, the more you use a gun, the better you get. For an example, Optic Pomage, he's a god with the sniper, and he uses it all the time. But there's also some factors from just the game itself. When I can go and shoot a guy cross map with a locust and one tap him, but when I get into a gunfight close range and I quick scope him in the chest and I get a hit marker, that just shouldn't happen. Back in COD 4 and MW2, none of that was the case. If you hit someone, you got a kill. And I really wish that Call of Duty in general will just go back to those roots. The hit detection in those games were so much better than this. Like, there's some guns where you gotta just spray and spray and spray, and it's just Call of Duty's slowly going downhill. I've lost the, like, drive to play this game lately just for the simple fact everything's becoming inconsistent, and it's just not fun anymore. Uh, drop uh, any comments you guys have in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think about the guns in this game and what you think they should do, what they shouldn't do, or if the guns are fine. But that's about all for this video. Remember, go to your boy Mitch's channel, drop a sub for him. Really appreciate it. Tell him Dysmorphic sent you. And yeah, that's all for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.